Hi, we're doing a review of the Acer DA220. Now this is obviously the lock screen, so you come over here and unlock it. Um, the interface is really quick. Um, I do want to point out that the um, device runs really smooth. Um, one of the big differences that I have that's not on here and they're wrong is that it says it's Android 4.0 it is actually Android 4.04 and it was a huge upgrade um, so this is, runs a lot smoother it runs 99 percent of the apps from the Play Store um, if for some reason they don't have an app in the Play Store that's compatible um, then you just open up Amazon apps and 99 percent of the time they have it so there hasn't been an app that I wanted that wasn't here so the interface itself is fine um, it's really snappy um, so if you want to, like for instance, all widgets work. So if I have my Gmail widget, my Hangouts widgets, Hangout widget, and all that stuff. So it's really nice for if you just want to leave it up as a light communicator. Um, Snapchat, Skype, um, some internet browsing, um, some YouTubing, some reading with Kindle, stuff like that. It's great for that. It's really lightweight, really fast. Um, and I use it all the time just for light things. It's Android, so it's not a full computer system. You can't run Photoshop and stuff like that, but it's a great light computer. But now where it really shines, well, first off, let me show you, like, it runs apps and games flawlessly. So I'll pull up uh, World of Goo. Um, so this is a pretty, pretty advanced, I mean, not advanced, but it's a pretty cons power consuming game. Um, and the Acer DA220 handles it flawlessly. And the screen looks so much better here. Um, I guess my camera's not that great. Um, but as you can see, it, it's really snappy. I know it's kind of, kind of lame to watch, but, um, but yeah, it's really snappy. As you can see, uh. I'm not very good at the game, but, um, and yeah, it's totally flawless as far as there's no lag. Whoa. I'm doing it wrong, that's why. But anyways, there's no lag. It to it picks it up really quickly, and all, all your touches are, are fine. It does not delay or anything like that. So as far as playing games or watching YouTube videos, it's, it's really great. Um, so if for some reason your system is not upgraded to the 4.04 you should definitely do it um, because otherwise it's just not as good see I Android device 4.04 so that's just the Android side of it so it's a great touch screen touch screen great media device now with that said the uh, where it really shines is I have a Microsoft Surface RT um, which I use as my main computer because um, I think it's awesome a lot of people disagree but whatever so I'm gonna turn that on so I just turn my flip it on um, and then just flip this over to HDMI and now this is not only a larger screen so now I have my surface and my larger screen here so I don't have to use like I can use obviously use a mouse um, and I do but the best thing about this device is it transition, transitions the touch to it. So I have full touch on this big screen, which is pretty amazing. So I have my big desktop here and my 8.1 little surface here, but obviously it's a second it's a second display that's also a touch screen, which is pretty awesome. And you'd be really surprised at what RT is capable of. And I'll use a mouse here so my finger doesn't get in the way. But like, let's say I want to run... Um, Say YouTube. So I grab it here and I drag it over my big screen and I drop it on this half. So I got YouTube over here. Now, let's say I want to, well, and I already got these loaded up, so that's why. And then I want to run Xbox Music. So I grab Xbox Music, pull it over here. All right. And then I grab, let's see what this is. This is USA Today. I can just grab that, drop it here, and as a full app. So I have USA Today, Xbox Music, and YouTube here. 
you can also pull like one note here. Um, I can like play, and then it plays from um, from the Acer speaker system, which is much better than a regular computer. Um, so the, t the, the touch is only going to transition for 8.1. It's not going to transition for um, like an Apple or anything like that. But again, as far as the the touch system with the um, with Windows, it's flawless, absolutely flawless. So you, I mean, it's amazing. Um, and then let's say we can even we can even open up, uh, let's say, Amazon Prime Video. Uh, come on, you can do it. Okay. Um, and then I'll show you that the, um, see it took it off here and now it's here, but let's say I wanted to move the, uh, USA Today over here. I can do that. I just slide this over. Now I'll use my finger so you guys can see that's awesome. Slide this over. Now I have USA Today up here, but let's say I want to watch, uh, Californication over here. Well, I, well, I read the news about, um, let's see here. Any Alibaba. All right, so let's go back to here. So I'll actually put this on the main screen so you can see that uh, how well the video runs and you can see the big screen. And I'll put the USA Today here. Um, or we can even just go to I'll put the desktop up here just so you can see. All right, so now we're going to open this up here and watch episode one and you'll see that it's literally as far as the video quality and the sound is really um really great So there we go. This uh, the video, as you can see, is awesome. And then you have full art, full windows over here. So as that's playing, which looks really great, sounds great. Um, the uh, you can have full RT running over here. So if you wanted to open up Flipboard, if you wanted to go and open up Alibaba on the other side of here. You can do that, and everything adjusts really quickly. Um, so the, I guess the best part is, is that you have full touch screen on the big screen, and then you can run two apps over here as well, and two apps on the big screen. So the, the functionality of it is just amazing, and I hope I showed you that in this video. It's probably kind of scattery. Um, but it's an awesome device, especially when you're able to hook it up to Windows 8.1. To switch it, you just, there's the little power key, I don't know if you can see it. You just hold it down for a second, and then this comes up, and you just hit OSD, main, and that's going to bring you back to uh, the main screen, um, which is just great. So if you want to do like a Google Hangout real fast, and you can flip back and forth, um, you can do that. Or if you want to just go back and do our back over to Windows, you just hit HDMI. Um, the hookup's really easy. Um, and the device, again, is just awesome. I mean, as you can see, it's just really easy to use. Um, it scrolls so nicely. Uh, and with the 8.1, it's really just takes it to a whole new level. I mean, a device like this running Windows 8.1 is probably three or $400 on its own. Um, so with that Android version, you also get the other side of an Android, which is just awesome. So I hope this video helps you, persuades you to buy. Um, oh yeah, this can go multiple, pretty much any angle you want it. So let's say this is kind of upright. Let me place the phone down for a second. I'm just, you just slide out the arm below it and then you have, you can go at different angles if that makes sense. Incoming so like. This is 
the top of it, but I, I'm sitting back and I don't know, it's kind of hard to see. I guess maybe I can show you like this. So if I lift it, it can go multiple angles, which is just awesome. All right, guys, I hope this helps. Have a great one.